Hey guys, what is going on? Carter here. Got another video for you. This is all about the Kershaw knockout. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're saying. I know, guys. I know what you're saying to yourself. Carter, what the hell? What the hell are you doing talking about a knife that is over a year old? I know, guys. It's a little ridiculous. I should have picked this up. A long time ago. I planned to. When this first came out, I really wanted to give it a try. I heard good things about it. But you know what? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And so, I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. I honestly have no idea how to make this right. All I can do is move forward with my quasi-review and let you know what I think of it. Uh, even though, more than likely, you have either decided not to get this knife or you already own it. Either way... I'm going to make this video because I want to. Uh, what a cool knife this is. Of course, there's always a few things that are not my favorite with any knife, and I'll talk about those. But overall, this is a beauty. 3.25 inch Sandvik steel stone wash blade. Right there. Made in the U.S., by the way, on this knife, which is really nice. Uh, aluminum scales on both sides. Steel lock bar. We'll talk about this a little bit more later. I believe it has a plastic backspacer, I could be wrong. Steel pocket clip, deep carry. Tip up, tip down, left hand, right hand. All the way around guys, uh, so really a complete ambidextrous knife, um, except for the fact that, you know, obviously the locking mechanism is on this side, uh, but it still can be operated with the left hand. Even I can do it, and I don't use my left hand, so um, I would consider this fully ambidextrous, at least as far as knives go. It basically is. Beautiful profile. Beautiful profile. Look at that. That is a gorgeous knife. I don't think that this is designed by uh, a custom maker per se. I think it's your standard uh, Kershaw team, design team, that got together to make this knife, and uh, they did a stand-up job. Um, it looks really nice, and it's also functional. You know, a nice sweep on the blade there, nothing too crazy. It's thick, but not overly thick, uh, or wide, I guess, is what I really mean to say. Uh, same with the blade thickness, though, the actual thickness. Um, it's got good tip strength, you can see there, but it is not overly heavy. Got this nice cutout on the swedge, uh, which helps lighten up the blade. Aluminum scales, as I mentioned before, with a nice texture. Nice pattern in there for, uh, for good gripping action. Beautiful gripping action. Great ergonomics. Uh, but the big claim to fame on this and where it gets its name is the sub frame lock that this knife uses. Uh, they have knocked out a portion of the aluminum scale here and inserted a steel lock bar. Uh, what this does is it allows you to have a fairly lightweight frame, in this case uh, aluminum, sometimes G10, but you get the rigidity and strength of a frame lock locking mechanism, as well as the strength, uh, the wear resistance, I should say, on the lock face of steel without adding a ton of weight. They've even knocked out an additional portion to keep the weight down, and that is a big deal in this knife because it is very lightweight. It is very lightweight. In fact, let's get a weight on it right now. You can see the thin profile. It really just melts away in your pocket. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, deep carry pocket clips, but on smaller knives, and I use that term loosely because uh, a lot of people consider this a medium sized knife, but I would call it a smaller knife, at least for me anyways, uh, it's fine. Because my only real problem with deep carry pocket clips is when the knife is large, and it just won't fit in your pocket because your pockets aren't that deep. You know, in this case, it's perfectly fine. Let's get a weight on here. 3.8, under four ounces. That is pretty spectacular. Pretty spectacular. Uh, if you haven't noticed, this does have the speed assist system that uh, Kershaw loves to use. Thumb stud opening, flipper opening, fires like a rocket. Uh, speed assist isn't really my bag, but uh, I'll deal with it. I'll live with it. You know, what can you do? It is fun because it is kind of like an automatic um, little bit of a pain to close, but 
I don't know. It is what it is. They like to use it. I like this knife model, so I went ahead and got it anyways. Um, I haven't taken it apart. It does not feel like it has a detent hole in the closed position, so I don't think you'd have much success by removing the speed assist on here. Could be wrong though, I'll let you know if that changes, uh, but it seems to be that the speed assist is the only thing acting as a uh, keeping the blade closed and from falling open in the closed position. Um, I don't feel a legitimate detent hole in there. So yeah, uh, that was a little bit of a disappointment. I was hoping I could take that speed assist out of there and just use it as a manual knife, but uh, oh well, I can't. Fair enough. The lockup on this thing is vault-like. Professional vault-like. Uh, no play left or right. They have the pivot cranked down quite a bit, which is fine because with the speed assist, you know, there's absolutely no slowdown. I mean, when you're dealing with speed assist knives, uh, things like smoothness don't really matter as much because you're using a spring to basically make it fly open. Um, but it is up and down. There is absolutely no wiggle, no slide, nothing. Perfect lockup, nice and early. Steel on steel action there, baby. It will last a long, long time. Uh, what a cool knife. Let's get a blade thickness on this baby, just because I have digital calipers now. So I'm gonna test the thickness of everything. And by everything, I mean everything. Just over three millimeters. Yep, just over three millimeters, so. Nice thickness on that blade, nothing too obnoxious. Stone wash looks good. Uh, tip up, tip down, right hand, left hand, I already said that. Great knife, guys. I would definitely recommend picking it up. Uh, like I said before, you probably already have or decided not to by now. Um, but uh, it's a cool little knife. Lightweight, small profile, solid, and quick like a bunny. All right, guys, take it easy. I'm out of here. Have a good night. See ya.